This is absolutely crazy. The former leader of the satanic church in South Africa spills the beans on everything, and it's darker than we realize. And it's so important as Christians that we're aware about this, not because we want to focus on the devil all day long, but also he is our greatest enemy, and it's kind of dumb to be ignorant about your enemy's schemes. Nobody goes into a war without studying their opponent and figuring out how to defeat him. Thankfully, through the Bible, we have the weapons of warfare to do so, but this life is an everyday battle against the kingdom of darkness. Especially when we watch this video together and you'll realize how much they hate humanity. What's going on guys? It's Big Nick back for another video. Thank you guys so much for coming back to the channel today. Before we get into today's video, if you guys like Christian content, please give this video a like, subscribe to my channel down below if you are new, and turn on my post notifications so you never miss a new video. Without further ado, let's get into it. Now before we get into today's topic, I have a huge announcement I want to make. And the announcement is I have just dropped a new collection of Christian merch. So the first design that we have is called Jezebel Buster. It's a rendition of Ghostbusters, but instead of busting ghosts, we're busting Jezebel because <laughs> she needs to be stopped for real. <laughs> this is a perfect shirt you can wear when you're casting demons out of someone or if you just want to make a statement that you won't put up with the spirit of Jezebel. The second design that I released is named the Call of God, which is kind of like a rendition or spinoff of Call of Duty, but hey, the Call of God is more important than anything else and you definitely don't want to miss the calling that God has on your life. So this is a great shirt to signify that you're stepping up to the call. The third design that I release is called Tread on Serpents, which is a design inspired by the Bible scripture Luke 10 9 where Jesus says we have authority to trample over serpents and scorpions. If you guys want to sow into good soil, sow into the kingdom of God, I urge you guys to go check out the merch website, which is linked in the description, and go get yourself some clothes. This ministry is 100% fully self-funded, and a lot of people don't know this, but behind the scenes, I have a lot of secular companies try to reach out to me and offer me sponsorships and promotions, and I turn them all down because they don't advance the kingdom of God at all. But because of that, obviously, I have to make merchandise. So for all of those who have been asking me how can I support this ministry? You can support it by getting some cool clothes, which is linked in the description. And with that being said, let's get into this topic because it's pretty crazy. Former leader of the Satanic Church in South Africa just exposed the entire organization in this shocking interview that just came out. Ryan Swigelar ended up founding the Satanic Church in South Africa, which opened the door to making Satanism a lot more mainstream in the region. However, he left the Satanic Church over a year ago after Jesus Christ physically appeared to him right before he was about to perform a Satanic ritual. In this encounter, he explains how he felt such immense love from the presence of Jesus Christ, so much that this one encounter caused him to denounce the satanic church as well as leaving it completely. You may remember this video that went viral about a year ago where he shared his testimony on his encounter with Jesus. However, after this video, we didn't hear much from him. But recently in this latest interview, he explained why he was silent. And it was due to the satanic church threatening legal action against him. But that case ended up dissolving not too long ago, which gave him the freedom to expose the satanic church completely. Now, before we watch this video, I want to let you guys know some of the content that he he exposes is very dark. However, we can't ignore the clear agenda against the saints of God that is currently unfolding. So just be prepared to hear some pretty crazy stuff. I mean, the beautiful thing is, or the wonderful thing is, uh, um, many people have left um, Satanism um, because of my testimony that time. And I'm not saying the majority. I'm just saying many people who have been in contact yeah. with me. Um, because again, a lot of people who are in it. Well, in it because of you. No. Um, well, some, I would suppose, but a lot of people who were deep into it, when you are that deep into it, you really believe that I can't get out of this ever. Mm -hmm. So when people saw that there is a person who can actually get out, do you, do you see? Because yeah. it's it's part of the deception. Um, it's part of demonic deception. It's, it's part of the enemy's deception is that you can never get out of things. You are bound. There's no way out. Do people feel like they can't get out because of the belief or because there's actually a physical real life threat from other <laughs> Both. Satanists? Both. Um, and I mean, once you do certain rituals and actual demons appear, um, that's what you're going to believe, right? And w once you get tortured yourself by demonic entities is what is what happens with a lot of people when they do these rituals. And when they don't want to keep on doing rituals with blood to appease these demons, you get tortured. Th mm. That is the reality. And I know this sounds like a like a movie, but this is literally the stuff I've seen. That is so insane. The satanic church often likes to peddle these lies that they don't worship the devil. It's just some ascended form of atheism, but that's 
all a lie. And also, why would you expect the satanic church to be truthful about what they believe in? Considering that they worship the devil, who the Bible says is the father of all lies. But they always try to say that, oh no, we don't believe in the devil, it's just atheism. These people are literally doing rituals and having encounters with demonic entities. Not to mention getting tortured by them too? It's crazy how the secular culture is all about being on demon time, but if you really had an encounter with one, you would not be rocking with them anymore. These things are absolutely despicable, and they have immense hatred for us because we are made in the image of God. And they take that burning anger that they have towards God on us because there's no way that they can ever reach God's throne. And because they know how much God loves us, they know that it hurts him when they attack us and deceive us. This is absolutely crazy. We just began the interview and already right off the bat, I'm getting mind blown. Let's talk about some of the stuff that was happening and that you've seen, right? So sure. while you were the leader, you, okay, you said that you guys did sacrifices. Animal sacrifices. Animal sacrifices. Yes. Was there any ever human sacrifices? So this is the thing. I will never say something is unless I've seen it with my own eyes. Yeah. So with my own eyes, I've never seen a human sacrifice. Okay. But did you hear about it happening? Yes, I did. Within members of your church? Yes, I did. Yes. And would that and be like murders or? So both murders and people stealing bodies from mortuaries. Um, there was a person who worked at a, a clinic where, where um, a and, and things happen, and they would bring light term fetuses to rituals. They, they were bringing babies that were quite developed, like seven month, eight month old fetuses. This is undeniable proof that abortion is straight from the devil. You cannot be a Christian and claim to be pro-choice. In fact, I would genuinely question your relationship with Jesus if you're advocating for the savage slaughter of innocent babies that can't even defend themselves. Abortion is simply rebranded Molech sacrifice and it's inexcusable in all cases. You may remember when Roe v. Wade got overturned and Indiana passed the anti-abortion legislation. The Satanic Temple actually tried suing Indiana for violating their religious rights since abortion is a religious ritual in their words. Meanwhile, all the crazy Jezebelic women and all the Ahab beta men were cheering on the satanic temple for defending women's rights. <laughs> However, any rational-minded person can see that the satanic temple is piggybacking off of the leftist delusion that slaughtering children is somehow a woman's right. This interview further proves that abortion is absolutely disgusting, and it's one of the reasons why God is going to judge this country if we don't repent. Now, in this next clip, Ryan goes into detail about what he saw in the spiritual realm concerning the battle between the demonic realm and God, as well as the battle between the demonic realm and us as Christians. What did you see, right? You said there's a spiritual wall. What's on the other side wall. of that wall? A wall. Uh, uh, what, sorry, what did you ask? What's on the other side of that wall? The spiritual wall. The veil. Said. Yeah. Okay. So everything in the spirit world is interlinked with earth. So when I'm saying that, it means like around us. So there is a constant, constant battle between the devil and God and between demons and God's children constantly, all the time. So everything on the physical earth is observed by the spirit world all the time, okay? And I'm not saying that now everybody needs to be scared, okay? Because that's certainly not. This is the beautiful thing. We don't have to be if we know what our authority is. But I was so blinded and deceived by what I was b involved in that I didn't realize this is actually what's going on and that it's that real. Do you understand? Because you hear things in movies and you you hear people talk and you hear other Christians talk about it and like, oh, you know, whatever, you're schizo. You know, things like that. When I actually saw it for that five minutes, I could not not do what I'm doing at the moment because it's it's extremely real. It's it's very real. We are literally living in the time of revelations at the moment. We are. And it's because it explains why the world looks the way it does. It's so obvious that we are in the end times. Like he explained, everything in the natural is a result of the supernatural. We can see that this world is growing more wicked every single day. This is why we need to burn for Jesus Christ every single day and keep our flame going. The times that we are entering are some that nobody has ever witnessed before. You can't be playing games with God or being lukewarm because if you do, you are not gonna survive the era that we're approaching at all. It's either all or nothing at this point. Now in this last part, 
part of the interview, he shares something very interesting and it puts a whole new perspective on the power that Christians have when we pray. This is why I like watching these videos because it reminds me as well how much authority we really have in Jesus Christ. Another thing that, that's very interesting, and I never understood this way back in the sat satanic church, there were two people um, that were in schools, one in a private school and one in like a public primary school, um, who also did a lot of the rituals and stuff. And at one stage, the focus was very much to hook young people in so that they can become involved in Satanism. Hold on, did you hear that? They literally have people from the Satanic church go into schools and become teachers so they can lure kids into Satanism. We are straight up in a war, guys. This is why they're targeting our kids so much here in America with the crazy leftist woke agenda. Because the stuff that they're teaching children are straight up Satanic values. It's beyond reprobate. This goes to show you that the agenda in these public schools is literally directed by Satanic agents, unknowingly and knowingly. And the two teachers both said the same thing. They said that at school, some children that they're throwing astral thoughts at were very open to it and they could influence their way of thinking, etc., etc. And then some children had this like a ring of fire around them and like you can't penetrate them. And then when we figured it out, it's like those were the children that parents were actually praying for. The, those children were covered in the blood of Jesus. So no witchcraft, no Satanist, nothing could actually penetrate those kids. And today, as I'm sitting here, that is the that is that is the power of what that is. This is why it's so important to have a relationship with God as well as praying for your children. Even though we're living in the last days, God is sovereign and he will back up his people as well as staying true to his word. We have authority over serpents and scorpions, just like Luke 10 19 says. And this is why it's so important to have a relationship with God and not just merely a religion. A relationship with God is gonna teach you your authority in Christ. It's gonna prompt you to get in the secret place more and will empower you to go to war in the spirit for your family and your children that the enemy is trying to attack. The blood of Jesus Christ is the highest form of power. And if you're a follower of Christ, you have access to that power. And you can use this to align with God's will as well as protect you and your family from evil. As the church, we need to understand how serious the agenda against the body of Christ is. And we can't be lukewarm or treating God like he's an aesthetic. If you believe in the power of Jesus Christ and you believe that you have authority over the enemy, I want you to comment down below, the devil is defeated. If you guys want to sew into this ministry, I do have an offering link in the description, but I really encourage you guys to go check out the new merch that I just dropped, which is also linked in the description. I'll see you guys very soon for another video. I love you guys so much. May God bless all of you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Take care and peace out. There's only one worthy to sit on the throne. Can't wait till he comes me to get out this world and I'll finally be on my own. You see I'm a menace to hell. I'm aware that my name is extremely well known. The Lord and his angels are always around me. I know that I'm never alone. Walking with God, you must have been a tone. Better not play around with me Cause Jesus Christ called me and made me his own Had to repent on my knees For things in the past I no longer condone The spirit be giving me peace Always be walking around with Shalom The work of the cross was a mercy show So I'm gonna be 